Hey everyone, welcome to another painting review. Today I'm going to show a review for the new Citadel base paints, primarily Lead Belcher, Ceramite White, and the new gold, Balthazar Gold. And for my review, I'm going to use the new Necron Deathmark as well as a Force Halberd, both primed black. My first test, I wanted to see how close uh, these colors are to the ones they're supposed to be replacing. So, for those of you who know, the silvers, Lead Belcher is replacing Bolt Gun Metal. The first thing that I noticed were the pigments for the new Lead Belcher are actually quite large compared to the old um, Bolt Gun Metal. And also, as you'll probably notice, the Bolt Gun Metal is actually a little bit darker of a shade. Um, it's much, a little, yeah, as you notice here, it's a little bit blacker than the new Lead Belcher. So GW was telling the truth when they said that it's not a perfect replacement of colors. So then I wanted to see what the new Lead Belcher would look like on a black primed model. So I took, took the death mark and I painted all the applicable parts with the new Lead Belcher paint. And as you can see, I'm actually very happy with the results. The lead belcher went on very smoothly and has a really good consistency. I found the consistency to actually be a little bit in between um, the old color paints and the old foundation paints. In fact, I found it actually to be closer to the old color paints than the old foundation paints, which was kind of interesting seeing as they're a replacement for the old foundation paints. And also, as you can see, it actually gave really, really good coverage right out of the pot. One single coat is all you need and it goes on really nicely and provides a great base coat for metallics. And here's what the model looked like when it was done. Um, as I said, I actually really liked the, uh, the way that the paint went on and when it dried it produced a really nice uh, metallic color to it. Uh, the, the pigments are larger, you can actually tell that well when it's on the model. So secondly I decided to test one of the new golds. And as you can see, the gold went on amazingly. Once again, provided a great, great foundation color uh, for the gold areas. Now, as anybody knows me really well and has seen my tutorials, knows I do not like the old colored metallic paints by GW. However, this gold uh, base paint is excellent and has great coverage and provided a really nice uh, gold appearance, as you can see here. And finally, to truly test the coverage of these paints, I decided to test the white over the black area of his helmet. And once again, it went on very smoothly and provided excellent coverage. As you can see here, this is just after a single coat of the white base paint. And it looks great over a black uh, primed model. So to summarize with the four C's, the first one, color compatibility. As you can see, these colors are slightly off the old colors. Therefore, if you're trying to do a perfect uh, mimicking, you're probably going to have to buy the old ones because the, the color chart isn't necessarily perfectly useful. However, the second C, consistency, you'll notice that it had actually great consistency for this paint. It was slightly thinner than the old foundation ones, but it went on very smoothly and gave a great coat. Which brings me to the next one, color choices. GW has produced 34 base paints and all of them look great and they cover basically the entire spectrum as well as metallics. I personally could not be happier with the color variety of these paints. And finally, the most important, coverage. As you can see, a single coat went on excellently and provided a great base color, whether it be metallics, uh, color metallics, or white over a black primed model. So to summarize, I was actually very pleasantly surprised with these base paints. Though I know some of you out there aren't happy with the new Citadel line, I think that if there's any hope in the new Citadel line, it's in these base paints. With over 30 different colors to choose from and the great consistency as well as the great coverage that they give, I honestly recommend these paints to all you viewers. 
So that concludes this review. Please stay tuned for my review of the other types of the new Citadel range. So until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone. <laughs>